Irene. Hello, welcome. So, Irene, can you just start us off by telling us where you are from and how long you've been coming to Hungry Gen? I am from Pasco, Washington, and I've been coming for almost a little bit over eight, eight years, not nine eight years, eight months. Yeah. <laughs> Irene, so tell us, what was the problem that you were having, and how did God intervene in your life? So, like, um, I'd say, like, a month ago, I had a cyst that was formed in my, my right fist. It was getting bigger and bigger for almost, like, um, I had it, like, over a little bit a year now. I was going to get a surgery on my wrist because it was going to, if I didn't get a surgery on it, it would get, it would uh, explode eventually and it would form cancer all over my body. So tell us, you said that you had a cyst on your wrist for over one year and it began forming and got bigger and bigger. And the doctors told you that if it exploded on its own, it would have, it would release a cancer into your body. So when the doctors told you that, what did you begin to do? So like, I, I just began to pray and pray and like, and nothing happened, and, and like, um, when I would pray, it's like God told me, like, Irene, you're doing it so bad, like, you're not praying in faith, and what I remembered one day when I was, um, uh, when I came to a Sunday service, I heard Pastor Vlad preaching about saying, like, if you confess to your bones that you're healed by, anything can happen, and, and that day, like, I realized, I was like, wow, like, I'm doing everything wrong, and and I got down on my knees one day, like, with so much passion. I, I was like, God, you know what? Like, I started confessing to, to, my, to the healing that I was going to receive that day. I said, I started casting that out. I was like, you know what? In the name of Jesus, I am going to get healed tonight. And that's when I realized that I, your words have power. You know, like, anything you confess out of your, out of your mouth, it has power. Either it could be bad, like so, something for bad or something for good. And I, I believed, I truly believed that day that I was going to get my healing. And that's when I realized that. Um, so like three days before getting surgery, because I, I had gone to the doctor and he told me that like if, if I wouldn't have take, taken care of that, like that uh, incident of the cyst, it would have spread all over my body and it would have been super hard to cure. And that's when I realized I was like, that's when I got down on my knees and something I learned is to never lose faith in God. Even if you're, even if your faith is as big as a mustard seed, like never lose grip of that. Like, because in that mist, when the devil tries to, to put in your mind that it's not going to work, that's when God has a healing for you. That's when, it's like coming to church and he doesn't want you to come. It's, that's when you need to go because like God, because the devil knows that there's going to be your healing. Your healing is now. Maybe like when, maybe your healing isn't when you want it to come, but when God is ready to give it to you. And that's when I believed, I was like, you know what, like, I am ready to receive this. So three days before getting surgery on my cyst, I heard a pop on my, on my wrist. And I, was, I looked down and I saw that it was gone. And I didn't think anything negative about it. I just thought that I had received my healing. I got down on my knees and thanked God for, what, for the healing. And I received it instead of thinking anything negative. See, we have two situations. You can either see it as negative because people are going to tell you, like people and other and the doctors are going to tell you something negative but God says otherwise and and that same day and that same day when I went to the doctor he said that I was completely gone and and I didn't need surgery anymore come on let's put our hands together for Jesus hallelujah amen it's so amazing, a cyst that she had in her wrist that was meant to be cancerous, that she had for one year. God Almighty took care of it in an instant. And the doctors have declared her that she's not sick. She doesn't need to worry. The cyst is gone. What else has happened since then? Okay, so like uh, last Thursday um, in my home group, it's just, it just keeps getting better and better because like our faith keeps growing more and more. And Everything we're learning, we apply it in the real life. It's like, it's, it's better to like receive, but then apply it instead of getting obese with the information that you receive. And, and then that's when I realized, I was like, we were just praying and praying. We got in God's presence. And, and I, I know there was like four, three girls in my life group that um, needed healing for something. 
And back after back, everybody received healing. And then I was like, you know what? My mom got, like, she got surgery not that long ago. And, like, her, I believe her, her left, her right foot, it got broken because she fell uh, from the stairs at work. And ever since surgery, like, she's had, like, that pain, like, super, like, strong. And I was like, you know what, like, let's pray for my mom. And we grabbed the phone and like, we, I placed my right foot as if it was hers. We started confessing to those bones that they're going to be healed in Jesus' name. And, and we asked my mom, I was like, mom, like, do you feel any pain? And she's like, it's completely gone. And then I was like, well, give thanks to God because it's never going to come back. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so you received healing on your hand. Can you just show everybody your hand really quickly? There's no more sister anymore. Three people in your life group got healed. It encouraged your face so much that you called your mom on the phone. And over the phone, your mom got healed. Yeah. Wow. Praise the Lord. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. Yeah, let's give Jesus Christ a round of applause. This is amazing. So, Irene, can you tell us, what is your advice to people who are here today? And they may be suffering from something. They've been praying for something for long. What can you say to encourage their faith today? I feel, I feel like um, the devil's going to try to put fear in you, but one thing to remember is that fear is just an illusion. It's just, an, it's just part of your imagination. It doesn't exist. And if you put your faith in God instead of putting your faith in the world, God can do so many things in your life. And it doesn't matter how big your faith is. It can be as big as a mustard seed. But do not lose grip of that faith that you have because God can do enormous, enormous things I can't even speak today. <laughs> Big things in your life. And, and like I said, you know, like there's two situations you can look at. You can either see it as a bad situation or as a good situation because that's what really matters. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you so much, Irene. Hallelujah.